CCNA Security, Real World Labs, and ASA Lab in Packet Tracer. I do not really check a new version of Packet Tracer because, you know, I, I prefer a real lab or Genesis 3. However, I was really surprised when I discovered that uh, Cisco added an ASA 5505 to Packet Tracer 6.1. I downloaded it from Cisco straight away, and of course, I want to share it with you and, you know, we will create a lab, see if it works and how it works. I, I did check there is no ASDM and I'm not really surprised because it would take ages for Cisco to code it. Still, I hope they will do that because if you want to study for CCNA security, your main focus is on ASDM, not on the CLI. Uh, still, that's, that, that is really good news that they added a firewall like that and you can play with it in Packet Trace. Let's see that. Let's see how it goes. So we'll take one ASA. Uh, let's take a router, that will be our ISP and the PC. That will be our host. Uh, let's use F0 to E0 and E1 to Fast Ethernet. F0 as E00 E01 that is F0, 0, isn't it? That's, I think that's what I used. Yes. Okay, let's use 1.1.1.0 slash 24. That's dot 1. This one, let, let's leave it DHCP. ASA 5505. By default, that will be a DHCP client. Let's leave it. So that will be dot .x. Uh, here it is 192.168.1.0 slash 24. This one is dot .1 and that one will be dot .2. That's our topology. Okay. Let's check the ASA then. Okay, we have VLAN database, we can assign IP addresses. Okay, we can create SSL VPNs as well. We'll focus on basic ASA configuration here and see how it goes. Uh, okay, start. Uh, show run. Okay. So, yeah, I did check that. It is, uh, there is a default inspection uh, rule is missing. We'll have to add it. I did check that. Not everything is included uh, by default. In packet tracer we're okay with that we can fix it and we are running let's type show version we're running a base license yeah no failover that's a pity <laughs> well maybe in 6.2 maybe you're watching my series at the moment and say oh yeah it's failover in ASAs well maybe okay Let's start with the router. Mm, what we want to do is IP address. Uh, 
I will create a loopback interface as well. That will be our internet connection. I will use IP address of 2.2.2.2. Okay, let me label it. So that will be something that we that we want to ping from this PC. Of course, we'll have to enable NAT on the ASA. Okay, and let's enable DHCP. Pull ISP. Okay, that should do the trick. I hope ASA will get an IP address. The reason for that is that by default E00 is in VLAN 2 and that is our outside IP address, our outside interface and it is DHCP. Let's test it then. Show interface IP brief okay nice we received an IP address and we can ping our ISP that's always a good sign now what we have to do I think there is no set root on in packet tracer that's why we will add a default root because we don't have a default root. We type root interfaces outside 000, and it is 1.1.1.1. One .1 .1 .1. Okay, that should give us ping to the loopback interface. Nice. Okay, cool. Now let's go to PC0. Give it 192.168.1.2.1.1. On the ASA, what we have to do, we have to create a NAT rule. That is beyond CCNA security, but uh, uh, it is running. Oh, there is no show version. It is running 8.4. It means we'll use an object NAT rule here to uh, to make it happen. Let's do it then. Object network. Let's call it NAT. Our subnet, that's the inside LAN 192.168.1.0. And the NAT rule is from inside to outside and it's dynamic interface. It is far beyond CCNA security. Uh, they expect you to do all these things from ASDM as far as I remember. That should give us NAT, it means. Ah, oh, yeah, I need the default inspection rule as well. I have one that I I used before, I will just copy and paste. When you get an ASA, in most cases, a default inspection group is over there, and you have to add ICMP. Do you remember? We have done it a few times using ASDM, where you have to tick ICMP. When you type show run here, there is no default inspection group. It means that uh, ICMP will not be allowed okay fair enough okay let's test it cool okay we can ping it that's good that's always a good sign now let's try and ping the internet in our case 2.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2 .2. cool okay yeah ASA in packet tracer that's really nice I'm 
really I, I'm really surprised that they added it. It's great. I hope they will add ISDM in the next version of Packet Trace. In this video we talked about a basic ASA configuration 5505 from the CLI and we did that in Packet Trace. Thank you very much.